Fun Facts from Pulp Fiction Part 2 The movie was a big inspiration for the Grand Theft Auto game series. The bistro that is raided by Pumpkin, Tim Roth, and Honey Bunny, Amanda Plummer, is the Hawthorne Grill, located on Hawthorne Boulevard at 137th Street, just south of the Los Angeles Airport. Friends in Los Angeles talked Tarantino into buying a computer, but he insisted that he could only write the script the old-fashioned way. You can't write poetry on a computer, he told one of them. Tarantino went to Amsterdam to write the script for the film, where he worked on it at the Pie in the Sky Cafe. First, he bought a notepad and three blue and three red pens at a stationery store. He then began the actual work on the script by writing on the front of the pad. This is the notebook I'm going to write Pulp Fiction in. He also alludes to the Dutch many times in the film. The moment Tarantino went to McDonald's in Paris for the first time and tasted the so-called Hamburger Royale, which in the US is called a quarter pounder with cheese, he thought it was great how the French had changed the name and immediately made a note not to forget to include the observation in the script for the film. The entire character of Mia, Yuma Thurman, was inspired by the character of Elvira Hancock, Michelle Pfeiffer from Scarface, 1983. In its first week on the market, 715,000 copies of the film were distributed internationally, setting a record at the time. The line, I'm going to powder my nose now, said by Mia, is inspired by Scarface 1983, when Tony Montana, Al Pacino, declares, at Elvira Hancock's, Michelle Pfeiffer, cost, that all she can do is powder her nose meaning that she still does cocaine, just like Mia. Yuma Thurman originally turned down the role of Mia, Tarantino convinced her by reading her the script over the phone. The film cost $8 million, $5 million of which went to pay the actors. Butch Bruce Willis smokes red apple cigarettes in the film. This is a fictional brand of cigarettes because Tarantino didn't want to advertise any real cigarettes. They also appear in his other films. The packaged tobacco is the real drum brand. The F-word and its derivatives appear 265 times in the film. We will be happy if you subscribe our channel.